What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Lunala and Mousehold for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Lunala, this Pokemon is actually really strong due to its natural bulk and its ability to stack special attack boost with Meteor Beam. So I can get Meteor Beam going, get that special attack boost, and pretty much just do big time damage from there. But like I said, we are pairing this Pokemon up with Mousehold, who has Friend Guard, who can help Lunala set up really easily so once we get lunala set up mouse hole can pretty much just follow me or helping hand until it dies out then we can get out another pokemon next to lunala and have this team absolutely go crazy but let's talk about lunala a little bit more it's a psychic and ghost type pokemon with the fairy tarot type which actually complements its weaknesses really really well it's got shadow shield with the power herb as its item rocking moon guys beam meteor beam dazzling gleam to go with this tarot type and last but not least it has protect like we mentioned, we have Mousehold with Friend Guard and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Water Terror type, Super Fang, Taunt, Follow Me, Helping Hand, a big time supporter for this squad. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature Urshifu, Rillaboom, Pelipper, and Landorus. Now, Pelipper's over here, obviously, for weather control, and it also has Wide Guard, which is a top tier move within this format. Urshifu's there to do big time damage next to Pelipper, Rillaboom's there for terrain control and fake outs, and Landorus, a great special attacker with sheer force and the choice scarf as its item. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Mousehold and Lunala team. First match, and we're going up against a top tier Kyogre team that features Rock Ogre Pond, Archiludon, Urshifu, Serena, and last but not least, Tornada. So, our only way of weather control is Pelipper, and honestly, Pelipper could be good here with Wygar, but I don't think I'm going to bring it. They don't have terrain control, so honestly, Rillaboom could work wonders here. I could go Lunala, I could go... Mousehold with Lunala, or I could just leave like Rillaboom and start getting it after it that way. I think I might go Rillaboom and Lunala here. I think that's a solid little play for us. I like both of those Pokemon. I feel like we can really thrive with it. Um, I like my Urshifu, and last but not least, Choice Scarf Lando could really come up clutch. It really could. So I'm going to go in with Lando. I mean, I could go Pelipper to match like Tailwind energy, right? Go Tailwind for Tailwind. That is a possibility. Do we want to do that? And then have Y guard ready to go. It's not bad. It's not bad. But you know what? I think I'm cool with what we have. I think I am cool with what we have. But if you guys have not seen yet, the regulation H rule set has just been announced. Not just a couple days ago it was actually announced, but I'm talking about it now for you guys. But it has been released. It dropped September 1st. And it is honestly a really cool format. We honestly thought that they were going to go with double restricted like they normally do. But instead, they've taken away all legendaries and all paradox Pokemon. And this regulation is going to be so hype. We're going to see older Pokemon come back that were in the meta in like season one. And we're going to see newer Pokemon kind of join the meta that were added into the DLC. That really didn't get the shine due to legendaries and all that good stuff. And all legendaries, not just restricted Pokemon, all legendaries. So Tornadus ain't allowed, Landorus isn't allowed. I think Incineroar is going to take over the meta. Is Incineroar allowed? I believe it is. I believe it is. But from here, they go Kyogre and Tornadus to lead things off. Um, honestly, Grass Guide is just in play, right? We got to go Grass Guide in this slot. And we're going to go for a Meteor Beam over into you. He might Terrasize. He might Hard Swap. Um, did we just fake out the Kyogre slot? We could just fake out the Kyogre slot. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that instead. Let's see, we're going to go fake out here, and I'm just going to Meteor Beam down Tornadus. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to Witch All Kyogre. Should have went for the Grass Guide. Just stuck with it. Let's see who he ends up going into. It's going to be Archiludon. So he's just going to get a Stamina Boost. I mean, I'm getting a Special Attack Boost, which is really good for me. Um, And Lunala is Special Attacking, so that's really good up against Archiludon. He's going to taunt me. No big deal. I'm not Calm Mind Boosting. I'm honestly just taking you out. And I hope you're not Focus Ash. Because if you're not Focus Ash, you were just dead. You were just gone. So, he goes for the taunt. They get him going for Calm Mind. But instead, Daddy Jeans is going for a nice little Power Herb Meteor Beam. Bye bye or Focus Ash? Bye bye. Awesome. So, no Tailwind gets up for him. That's a big time play for us. That's a big time play. So, we have Rillaboom on the field. Rillaboom's pretty nice. You might want to hard swap it and kind of just save it for Kyogre because it is just obviously top tier. When it's 1v1 up against Kyogre. But he's going to go into Rock Ogre Pond. Rock Ogre Pond a little bit annoying. I think I might just U-turn Pivot into Rock Ogre Pond. And on top of that, maybe just double down into it. With a Moon Guy's Beam. Just... Because I know it has Sturdy. I could actually start attacking Arch Ludon. 
So Archer Luna could be a bit more annoying. But I mean, I have Urshifu in the rain, which isn't bad. Which is not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go for U-turn pivot. I'm gonna attack Arch Ludon here, and he's gonna attack my Lunal with Ivy Cudgel, which we soak rather well. Moon Guys Beam gonna be able to fly. Lunal is just so bulky too, which I love about it. Moon Guys Beam doing big time damage into Arch Ludon. He gets a stamina boost. Is he going for a body press? That's the real question. For a U-turn pivoting out of here. And I think it's set up Urshifu. We're just going to go into our Lando here. Because at this point, I could just outspeed it. And if you're going for body press into this slot, we are a flying type. Which is good news for us. We should be able to soak rather well. So I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. We'll save our Rillaboom. We will save our uh, Urshifu. And he's going to go for Electro Shot. Go after... Uh, you're probably going after Lunala here. But I was going to say, go after Rillaboom. There's no way you're going after a Rillaboom slot with an electric move. So he gets a special attack boost. He is going to end up attacking my Lunala. No big deal. We're able to soak. And with the speed that we have, we should be fine with just taking out Ogre Pond here. And with Rain going, we can just go for Sandseer Storm. It's actually a fine turn for us. So I'll go Sandseer Storm. And I mean, it's going to KO both unless Arch Lunala like, terrestrializes. So you know what? We'll just go into Dazzling Gleam just to double down in case one of them terrestrializes. But... We should be fine here. We should be fine. Daz and Gleam just double down with some damage. And then just have a pretty much a 4v1 situation. Because they don't know that my boy is actually choice. They have no idea that my boy is choice scarf. So he's going to be able to outspeed and just rip up here. The Sandseer Storm is going to be double KO. See you later. Get on out of here. Turns to a 4v1 situation. And match number one. Going real easy for me. Going real easy for me. And it is a brand new season. So I'm going to be able to start off this new season 1-0. Which is great. Trying to push my way back up into the Masters here for the last Regulation G season, but I'm super excited for Regulation H. I think it's going to be probably one of the better Regulations we have. Taking out Legendaries and Paradox Pokemon at the same time. We haven't had that since the first Regulation in all of Pokemon. Or not all of Pokemon, in uh, Scarlet and Violet. So that's why it's going to be so cool, because you're getting rid of the Paradox Pokemon, you're getting rid of the Legendary Pokemon, and now you're adding all the new Pokemon that came in the DLC. So a lot of them are going to see the meta again, like Politoed's going to be back, um, Hydreigon's going to be pretty good. Just super excited for it. But from here, we're just going to go for Sandseer Storm because it's 100 accuracy, and I'm going to follow through with a nice, lovely Moon Guys Beam here. Do I Terrasilize? No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. He's going to Terrasilize. What, what Terror type do you got? Going in with Water. Maybe looking for damage. We will be able to get, get off some damage with this Choice Scarf. But I mean, regardless, we just bring back out Bulboom and just grassy got our way to victory after this. So, thanks for playing. They're going for a win, though. They're going for a win. Sans here, Storm flies. Does my Lunala outspeed? That's the real question. It might not. It doesn't. But Origin Pulse is flying. And who dodged it? Someone's dying here. Someone's dying. I can't even see. Lunala's gonna die. And my Sans here, Storm Lander's gonna be able to finish off this match. Sorry, Lunala. We almost got the this, this, this sweat or the sweep. Would've been dope. But from here, again, we just bring out Robo. We make things simple. And we just spam Grassy Glide and... And Sandseer Storm. We might honestly just uh, protect this turn. This can cancel match. Nope, we don't. Grassy Glide's gonna finish it off. Beautiful. Awesome. 1-0 to get this video started. We versed Kyogre in match number one. Now we're versing Shadow Rider Calyrex in match number two. Another top tier restricted Pokemon. Kind of annoying considering it is super effective onto Lunala. But with the Fairy Tower type, we can actually deal with that. They also have Shannon Lore. They got Moltres. They have Rollaboom, Clefairy, and Rocko Rapun, who have who we have been seeing a lot on the rank ladder, which is kind of cool. It is definitely kind of cool. But I could go Mousehold. I could honestly end up going into Lunala here. Maybe just go for like follow me kind of plays. If I want to. Could. I could. Or I could set up a tailwind with Pelipper. Maybe protect Lunala turn one and then just go from there. That wouldn't be bad. Because they don't have a Tailwind user, which is really good for us. It is really good for us. So honestly, we might just want to go in with these two. And then bring in Lunala and somebody else in the back end. I'm not sure I want to use Mousehold. I think going in with like a Choice Scarf Pokemon could be really good for us. Just gotta watch out what we choice into. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna go in with my Rain Squad right off the rip. My lovely Rain Squad. If we have to detect turn one, we can detect. And try to get off that uh, tailwind. That's really my main focus here. I do have wide guard with my uh, 
with my Pelipper, so that might be a play for us as well. Maybe just wide guard turn one. It depends if they go in the Shadow Rider Calyrex, which I, most likely they are going to go in the Shadow Rider Calyrex. But if they do, we might just wide guard, stop the double hitting moves, and then just like surging strikes. But no, they're going to go Moltres and Ogre Pond, which I don't really mind. I do not really mind. Um, we might just end up spiky shielding, but I hit through spiky shields, which is lovely. And I can just go for the, not a wide guard. I can go just go for a tailwind here. And honestly, just Terra Water. What's your speed? Let's be honest here. What is your speed? 149. Ogre Pond might outspeed you. We might just want to... Uh, I just want to detect here. Figure this out. Yeah, I'm just going to detect. Play this one smart play slow. And yeah, you're going to spike your shield regardless. And I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'm protecting. You might be going for an air slash into my Urshifu. Unless you're going for Tailwind. Now you're going for foul play. A little bit of foul play action. That's fine. So I get off a free Tailwind. Pretty big for us. Pretty big for us. Pretty big for us to go get off a free Tailwind. So I could Water Terror. I think just going for like a Hurricane or even a Weather Ball. It's probably better for us into this Ogre Pond slot. And then we have Focus Ash. So I can just go for Surgeon Strikes. I mean, honestly, I could just Close Combat you. Which would KO. But I really don't want to lower my defense like that. I think Surgeon Strikes will KO. In the rain. I don't think we have the Terras slots. I think we can just KO this Moltres. I really do. So not a bad lead for us. He's going to end up withdrawing Moltres. So who's taking the Surgeon Strike shot? That's the real question at hand. It's going to be Clefairy. I, I actually am glad with, for that. Getting rid of Clefairy is massive. It's just a support build. So I'd rather just start dealing damage into that. No Rocky Helmet, hopefully. Cool. No Rocky Helmet. So I keep my Focus Ash. We do wonderful damage in this Pokemon. And chances are they're going for like a Power Whip. Horn Leech into, into my uh, Urshifu, which I'll just Focus Ash up. Give me ducks. Oh, we get ducks. We get quacking, baby. How are you? Hit himself in confusion. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ogre Pond. Do it. Man, they get off the power whip. It's okay. We got Focus Ash. We sash up. We love a good old Focus Ash. These aren't bad turns for us. They really aren't. They really are not. Now, the real question is, can Hurricane actually just KO? I think it can. So, I'm just going to go Hurricane into the slot and just end up detecting you. I think we just play it simple. I think we play it simple because they could just go for follow me and then like power whip again. But I'm detecting this turn. You might spiky shield here. Yep, there's follow me. You're going after my Urshfu. There's no way you're going after my Pelipper here. There's no way you're going after my Pelipper. So Hurricane's going to finish off Clefairy. Bye bye. See you later, Clefairy. And show me that you're attacking my Urshfu. This could be a big turn for us. You're confused. We might not even see it. Hit yourself in confusion. Make life easier for me. It does. <laughs> The duck's getting after it. So we still have Tailwind up for one more turn? I think one more. And I was going into Calyrex, which I can just... I might Terra start punching on that thing. I think I'm going to try to KO. With Tailwind, you can't... Yeah, we might as well. Do you have any first turn priority? No, we might as well... Might as well attack. Unless your choice is to be wide guard just in case. There's no way your choice. You're just not a choice Pokemon. We're going to go for Hurricane in this slot. I'm going to tear water. I'm going to make sure this thing dies out. I'm going right after Calyrex. Unless you have followed me, Ogre Pond. Oh, no. Ogre Pond definitely has followed me. This could be bad. This could be a bad play for us. This could be a real bad play for us. If he has followed me. If not, we just dump on this Calyrex, right? He snaps it. He does have followed me. You son of a biscuit. I can't believe I thought of following me after the fact. It really hurts the soul. So certain strikes gonna end up finishing you off. And I waste my terror here as well. Mm, I have Chewy Scarf on my on my Lando, which is really good for us. And you still have Terra, and you're outspeeding my Pelper, which really sucks. Pelper, I need you to soak. Alright, Pelper soaks, that's good. That's good, because I can wide guard next turn. Man, I should have wide guard it. I should have wide guard. I even said that after the fact. After the fact, they said, he might follow me here. That would have been a great turn for us to hit that thing in confusion. So Tailwind's gone. But with my choice scarf, we should outspeed. And I don't think he's ready for that. I really don't think he's ready for that. We still have Lunal, but we don't have Terra. We do not have Terra. I'm down the choice into... uh. I'm very down the choice into Earth Power here. And just go for a wide guard instead of Tailwind. 
You think we're gonna KO with Earth Power? That's the real problem. I gotta go for this. I gotta go for Earth Power. Let's see how this one plays out. Kind of scaring me. So Y Guard going to fly out here. They obviously didn't protect, which is good news for us. And Earth Power, can you do enough damage? Oh man, show me you're going for Astro Barrage. All right, cool. He goes for Astro Barrage. Can you go for Fiery Wrath on top of that? That'd be really cool. That would be beautiful. That would be amazing if you do that. Go for Fiery Wrath. Do it. Yes! Y Guard prevailing. Nothing better than when both your opponents go for double hitting moves and you just Y Guard up. Not playing around. Not playing around. Thought I was playing around. Rain's gone though. Rain's gone. I am going to go for a Tailwind this turn if I can pull it off. And I'm just going to go for an Earth Power into Calyrex again. And Calyrex just going to protect. This is why I want to go for Tailwind with that. I don't think you KO my Lando. And on top of that, if you attack my Lando, we just get off a Tailwind. Which is beautiful. We need a Tailwind out here. My one problem here is... Yeah, that's my one problem right there. That's my one problem. Is now I'm choice into this... Uh, now I'm sitting here choice into this... Uh, this move right now. I'm choosing the Earth Power, which I cannot hit the Moltres, but he already, they didn't Thrasilize yet. I'm kinda hoping he just Thrasilize. I do have Meteor Beam, which I'm gonna send. And I'll just Earth Power down this Calyrex again, cause Choice Scarf coming in clutch. The Choice Scarf is just such a good item, especially late game. The, all the Choice items are so good late game. So he's gonna end up Thrasilize. Is this gonna be Moltres? It is gonna be Moltres. Into Dark, maybe? It is going to be Dark Moltres. So now we can actually hit it with Earth Power, which is really good news for us. I mean, I do have Shadow Shield, which is good for my Lunala. Earth Power is going to take out the Calyrex. I think everything works out fine here, because I think my Lunala should outspeed. But if not, I mean, my Landorus does. And now I can hit it with Earth Power. And we do outspeed, so we're going to get off this Meteor Beam. Everything is looking pretty dandy. We just got to kind of hope for no crits here. Crits could really ruin our day. When I power or Meteor Beam, I get my special attack boost. I can also Dazzling Gleam next turn, and Meteor Beam does good damage, but now he's Berserk Pop. It just, it did just enough damage for this thing to Berserk Pop. How much damage are you doing here? I got Shadow Shield, and both my Pokemon soak. That's beautiful. That is beautiful, because again, I outspeed. I can switch to Dazzling Gleam, which I'm now plus one with, and my Earth Power hits the Moltres now. Awesome. He's going to protect. That's fine. No problem. No problem, you got no first turn priority. Unless, actually, you learn Sucker Punch. You do learn Sucker Punch. Do you have it, though? Maybe, maybe not. I know you have Fiery Wrath. I know you have Foul Play. I know you have Protect. That last move. There's no way it's Sucker Punch. There's just no shot at Sucker Punch. I'm gonna go Earth Power. I'm gonna go Dazzling Gleam. Cool. They're not rocking a Sucker Punch. And Earth Power leaves them on one. About two, actually, but still. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Dazzling Gleam up, cleans up the mess. We're sitting 2-0 in the brand new season. Moving on to our final match. And the only Pokemon that we haven't used in today's video has been Mousehold, who I really want to use. And I think now is a good matchup for us to actually use this Pokemon. So I'm going to end up leading Mousehold. I'm going to bring Lunala in for lead. They just complement each other really well with the Friend Guard and the Shadow Shield. Lunala becomes even more bulkier. So I'm going to go in with both of them. In the back end, Urshfu is going to be great because we know they're bringing in Kyogre. And chances are they are going to bring in Grimmsnarl to set up the screens. So I like this for uh, Urshfu. Rain plus Surge Strikes equals big time damage. Now we need a Pokemon to deal with Rage Bolt. And obviously our Choice Scarf Landers is going to be that final slot. Choice Scarf Landers has been amazing in today's video. And Rage Bolt is just such a massive threat. and such a good Pokemon. We need a way of dealing with it. So if we don't bring Landers, we pretty much just lose that Rage Bolt. Like Rage Bolt is just so good. That's why I, I'm kind of hyped for Regulation H. Raging Bolt won't be in there. Fluttermane won't be in there. Iron Bundle won't be in there. Tornadus won't be in there. Kyogre, all of them. As much as I love using them, like, after like a month or two, it's like, okay, these Pokemon are hands down a step above the rest. Like, let's just put them aside right now. Let's open up a new meta. And it's going to be so cool because Titar is going to be back in action. Exedrill combo. What else? Hydreigon, like I mentioned earlier in today's video, just a lot of different Pokemon are going to be utilized a lot more. I believe Ludicolo's in this game, right? So Ludicolo and Politoed might make a return, which is so dope. It's just so cool when they when they do regulations like this. Uh, Don Dozer and Tatsugiri might be a little bit of a threat. Gotta watch out for them. We're going to end up seeing a fake out user and a screen user pop out here. I mean, we're going to set up our Meteor Beam and we're just going to send it into Rillaboom? I don't even know. I'd rather protect here, and honestly, 
Did I just taunt you? You prankster. And your friend guard, cool. You know, I'm just gonna end up taunting you. I'm gonna go for a meteor beam and just boost her, uh... Boost her special attack. The taunt's gonna come out here. He can only probably use spirit break now. And meteor beam's gonna fly. So I'm gonna have to start following me these next couple turns. I got friend guard, which is good. It's gonna help out my Lunala if Robin wants to attack us. But I have to watch out for Spirit Break. I don't want my, them to just start lowering my special attack. Let's see what he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for a U-turn, which I soak really well. Thank you, friend guard. Astronomically well. All right, so they got Lage Fiend off, which is eh, it's okay. Maybe I should have brought Pelper for Y guard because this might be Kyogre. It is Kyogre. Oh no, dear Neptune. It is Kyogre. I have Terra Water on you. Um, you're gonna die, man. You are switch your speed. This is real tough for us. Palmy's not gonna do much, so I just go for Helping Hand. We have to do damage into Kyogre. I think we have to. I really feel like we have to. This Kyogre might just rip up into us. He's gonna withdraw Grimstone, which is pretty good for us. Did you go into back into Robo maybe? Or do you show your final Pokemon? Amoongus. Oh no. Not Amoongus, man. Not Amoongus. Moongus being gonna be able to fly. We outspeed, which is good. Plus one. I mean, they have Lich Queen. Can we get a crit? No, we do half damage though. Lich Queen's so good. And he's gonna calm mine. Oh man! Why you gotta do me like that? Why you gotta do me like that? I'm back up to full HP, which is good news. Um, Water Spout's not doing as much damage as it normally does. And he's just gonna go for a Rage Powder here and just have his Kyogre just start launching Origin Pulses, right? Makes the most sense. So we're gonna go for another Helping Hand. And honestly, we're gonna send in the Kyogre slot, but he's gonna Rage Powder. We, are, we already know this. We already know this. Man, dude, I hate screens. Screens is so hard to play up against. And Grip is gonna be, I think, elite regulation each. The screens are just so good at all times. Yo, I love Mousehold. It's so sick. This is a family of mice. Just hanging out. It's so dope. I'm a big fan of Mousehold. Dumping hand's gonna fly out here. No rage powder, or are you gonna rage powder up? Don't rage powder. Can we just get a crit here? Take this bad boy out. Be massive. Go ahead, Luna. I'll get a crit. Nope. We're getting close. You're going to put me to sleep, which is... Oh, man. He's going to put me to sleep. Lord's Repulse just ripping. I mean, Luna is so really well. Super well. The Palm Puffs going to come out here. Oh, man. Come on with that. Come on with the pee puffs. Oh, dude. That's so ugly. We should have just attacked Amoongus. Yeah, this one's not looking good for your boy. Not looking good at all. Not looking good. I mean, I could go Water Terror just to see how much damage we could do with these guaranteed crits. I could go into you and just... You know, we're, we're, we're gonna have to do that. We, we need something to happen here. We need to go for guaranteed crits. We're not doing nearly enough damage with any of our moves, so... We're going Surgeon Strikes. I'm guessing the Kyogre. How much damage can we possibly do? And we'll double down. If you go for Rage Powder, you go for Rage Powder. We just have to attack this thing right here right now. Oh my lord. What a good couple plays for him. Just to bulk up this Kyogre. Get after it with, us, with it. Alright, Urshfu. Need you here. We have Blando in the back end. Lunala's bulking shots pretty well here. Soak that, uh... It took that, what's it called, really well. That, uh, Origin Pulse. But he's gonna actually choose to go for Rage Powder. Hopefully you're not Rocky Helmet, because then I just take a insane amount of damage. And I guess we'll find out here. How much damage is Surgeon Strikes doing, though? Oh, man, don't, don't be Rocky Helmet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! Origin Pulse might just kill me. Rocky Helmet just... 
doing us dirty. Doing about, we did about the same amount of damage to us that we did to, to that Amoongus. So we hit it a couple times. Rage Powder is going to help out. Can Moongeist Beam pick up the KO? I sure hope so. Good, Moongeist Beam. Do, do your job. All right, cool. We get rid of Amoongus, which is pretty big. But Origin Pulse looking like it's going to get rid of my Urshifu. I mean, Lunala should soak. And of course, he lands it. I was hoping we could dodge it. And my Lunala survives on, on four. That's good news, except he's going to bring out Roll Boom and just go for first turn priority. And can I do anything about that? Probably not, right? Got to figure out ways around this. I have choice, but am I going to choice in a Sludge Bomb? Nah, yo, this Kyogre is pretty much locking us down right here. That Rocky Helmet was just top tier. That Rocky Helmet, yeah, I was really hoping. I was just like, as long as this thing's not Rocky Helmet, we should be able to soak and get off another turn and maybe have a shot at winning this match. But then I just started taking damage. I was like, oh, no, not Rocky Helmet. But yeah, that was really our last hope kind of play, right? Definitely our last hope kind of play. Definitely our last hope. And to be honest, I probably... I probably should have brought Robum here. Let's be honest here. I mean, Kyogre's is a big threat, but I mean, our biggest threat was his Grimstorm. Grimstorm's just so strong. It really is. I mean, it's raining. We gotta go for Sansir Storm. Um... And if I can't get a crit with Moongeist Beam, that's really our only it's really our only shot. And he's gonna Thunder Wave me and slow me down regardless. We need crits. It's it's the only way. We need crits, but even with a crit with Sansier Storm, it's not gonna KO Kyogre at this point, and he's just gonna outspeed us. Oh my god, we did we did about negative six damage combined there. And Orange Pulse is not missing for him. Not missing. RNG on his side, but hey, we were losing this match regardless. Our opponent just played really well in this match. So GG's to him. We go 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Lunala and Mousehold rocking out in today's video. We go 2-1, and one, grab ourselves a winning record, but this team was just great all around. Full of meta Pokemon, you had Urshfu, Rillaboom, Landorus, and Pelipper. Then two off meta picks with Mousehold and Lunala. Like I said, I really like this team, and I really like the synergy all around it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.